Okay, so we're out in the shop, and we're with the system 3,339 file M. Let you see that. Same system. We're going to get this put back together real quick. This is extremely hard to do with one hand. set in there and we're gonna set that in there just for now normally everything would be put together before we do this but I just wanted to let you see the system turned on for the first time Twitched a little bit, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Okay, we got power. So hopefully the customer actually watches this and uh, puts a comment down below. Everybody else, if you like the video, like it and subscribe to the channel for more. I don't only exclusively do uh, repair videos. I do other videos because I just like to video stuff. <laughs> uh, however, uh, I, I don't do a whole lot of actual repair videos because no matter how you describe any one symptom, the problem could be a million different reasons why. So if a simple cleaning from any of my cleaning and maintenance videos for the game systems does not work for you, I would highly recommend you do not use YouTube to try to fix your system. 90% of you will fail. Okay. So he gets to play Fortnite. Yeah, like I said, 90% of you guys will fail because no matter how they describe any one symptom, there can be a hundred or more different reasons or even a thousand different reasons. Any component on the board can cause it to not read. The disk, the hard drive itself can cause it to not read. Just because this thing is not reading disks does not mean it has anything to do with the disk drive. If it's not got any power whatsoever, it could be the disk drive. It could be an issue on the motherboard. And believe it or not, it can be this. Uh, a no power issue whatsoever can be your disk drive. It can be your hard drive. It can be your power supply. It can be anything on the motherboard. So for anyone putting up a video saying, if your system's doing this, fix that, they're doing you a great disservice. There is no such thing as a common problem when it comes to these newer systems, especially the Xbox Ones of any model, slim, fat, X, it doesn't matter. The problems are throughout the system, unlike the older 360s. <coughs> that actually had a common problem with the solder due to the dual chip setup and the fact that they had some of the crappy stuff, uh, crappier, smaller heat sinks. Uh, I'll get into that kind of stuff with, when it comes to this stuff in, an, in a later video that I plan on making regarding the uh, fact that the intercoolers for these systems whether it be a PS4 or Xbox One, are extremely bad for your system, as well as the filters that they sell to put on the sides, especially for the PS4s, are extremely bad for them and will kill them. I plan on making an in-depth video 
covering that topic and I'll probably talk about a lot of other stuff too. So I look forward to that video coming soon as I get some time to do it. But I uh, had time to video this repair just to sh basically show you that just because you got no power doesn't mean it's going to be your power supply. And two, just because you spilled a liquid inside your system doesn't mean it's over for the entire system. Stay safe, happy gaming, everybody.